Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. A warm welcome to one and all of you and I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm very, very happy and deeply honored to be part of these sessions and I want to thank God our Savior who always brings us together as a family, as a congregation, as a denomination because sessions like these, there isn't any discrimination. <laughs> Anyone are welcome, all are welcome. This is how Jesus ministered the word, you know. Wherever Jesus went, show me anywhere, he said, hey, Jews, come to the left. Uh, who are non-Jews, come to the right. And who are all still thinking whether I'm a Jew or not, uh, please go to the, you know, <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> Can you show me any verse where Jesus <clears throat> treated people by race, gender, religion, culture? Uh, no way, no discrimination. The number one ideology of Jesus, the principle Jesus followed was no discrimination. Yeah, all our brothers and sisters. Yeah, Bi uh, so forget Bible for a moment. All Indians are our brothers and sisters. Really? So why so much of racism, communalism, this and this, all isms? Why? Tell me. Nobody follows that rule. Why? They just use it for vote banking and this and that, and people keep winning. One well, first five years this party, second five years that party. That's it. That's not Bible. We, had, we don't do voting campaign, but we speak from the Word of God what God wants us to do for our welfare, for our well-being. Therefore, you're able to see paradise on earth, heaven on earth. Yeah, all of you know the people talk so much about heaven, 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 heaven. Uh, who is saying that the earth or the place where you live can ever be transformed to heaven? That's the assumption that the, or that's the kind of mindset that the devil built in the hearts of people, you know. But that's not the truth. Wherever Jesus went, people saw heaven coming down. People saw paradise. A lot of saints, they are resting there. Yeah. Wherever Jesus went, there was hope, there was deliverance, there was freedom, liberty. How did it all come? That's exactly what has been written in the Bible. That's why you got to follow the footprints of Jesus. That's why you could become like him and you could do more than him. John 14, 12 says, and you could become perfect like God by all means, by all standards, not above God, but perfect like God. Why? Because you and I are created in the image of God. If I say this, many people are frowning their faces. How can you say that we are li like God? I never said that. God the Father said that. I create. I will let, Come, let's go and create man in our image. He said to this to the Holy Spirit. John, Genesis 1, 27, Genesis 2, 7, Matthew 5, 48. All this you take and read and then come and talk to me, please. No, don't want to talk to me. You talk to yourself. Okay. So, when you follow all the standards, the laws and commandments, not only that you will see men behaving like God, you will never give any room to the evil spirits. The evil spirits will have no place to dwell on earth. The demons will run away to the bottomless pit. What is their place then? Bottomless pit is their destiny. Yeah, A little, the seal, it's been sealed also and kept. A little bit of seal is opened. Therefore, they are able to come and Deceive the mankind, devour the mankind. God is merciful. He didn't open the seal completely. Okay. So they will return back to the same place and they will request God, please seal us because these men are torturing us. We are not able to deceive anyone. We are not able to fool anyone. We are not able to devour anyone. We are not able to destroy anyone. We are not able to murder anyone. We are not able to make anyone or transform anyone as liars, murmurers, gossipers, complainers, backbiters. You are all wondering, where is it in Bible? Uh, 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 9, Colossians 3, 5 to 9, Mark 7, 21 to 23, Galatians 5, 17 to 21, Romans 1, 29 to 32, Romans 6, 13 to 20, Ephesians 4, 31, 1 Timothy 1, 9 and 10, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. Take and read. Hmm? If that is not enough, what must be the mark of a Christian? What, what must be the behavioral pattern of a Christian? Romans 12, verses 12 to 29 or something you read. Okay, Colossians 3, 12 to 17 you read. 
the devils the devil the demons will uh, the demons are today revelation 12th and says are complaining about the brother and accusing us day and night look at him look at her look at the dress uh, look at the words of the mouth look at how filthy they are look what kind of movies they are watching look 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 the same devil will go and complain god if you and i can behave like god if you and i can transform uh, uh, earth to heaven bible says it is possible it is men who is saying it is women it is mankind who was saying never possible impossible and all that hmm? making the impossible possible must be the task of a christian why because with god all things are possible not by your own skills or standards or capabilities you and i are able to do that matthew 1926 says that with men it is impossible but with god all things are possible when you and i transform earth to heaven the devil will the same devil will go and complain to the lord almighty god almighty please Uh, you know you cannot allow us to be tortured by the mankind you know please shut us down close the seal or they themselves they themselves will go and close the seal you know please don't uh, and then there is uh, there are a couple of chapters that will be erased what are they hmm? what is the chapter revelation 19 onwards there is no need why because god himself will come and dwell in the midst of us once again we will obtain the glory of god all this is going to happen in revelation 21 22 if you read you will understand after the white throne judgment <laughs> how how glad god would be to once again you know walk with us in the cool of the day as how we walked in the eden garden along with adam and eve brother come on let's talk about something else why are you talking about something that is impossible this is the reason why the impossible remains as impossible huh not forget about what i told even in your life lot of impossibilities they remain as impossibilities how long 20 years 30 years impossible brother my wife no never changes yeah she will never change how do you know brother just know you told me right that's your belief <laughs> say the sister would say no this guy no he's such a lazy buffalo yes he is always going to be a lazy buffalo how do you know brother yeah just know you told that's your belief <laughs> Whenever you look at him, instead of him, why don't you buy a couple of buffaloes and make it graze in the middle of your home? Kick this guy out of your home. You are dishonoring your husband. Hmm? Ladies, sisters, listening to me, please learn to talk kindly, politely, and respectfully to your husbands. Similarly, husbands, one Corinthians, um, I think one Corin, one Corinthians eleven or thirteen, I think, right? How husbands must behave. all these things are being given as instructions there and we have spoken also a lot from that uh, you know paraphrase um, in one of my what is that it's in body mind spirit and soul series i have mentioned we have gone through this the holy spirit did a fantastic job teaching us how we should be honoring one another huh so when are you going to learn all this tell me now or never is our situation beloved because the time is ripe enough for christ to come any point of time any point of time and if you keep on neglecting the gospel rejecting the gospel delaying the gospel uh, some people delay delay the gospel why i should do it now why not after 10 years now i am busy this is the time to age this is the, this sorry this is the time to work hard this is the time to read uh, this is the time to study please don't spoil my child some parents are begging don't spoil my child what by teaching bible they are they are thinking we will spoil our child spoil their child come on there are a lot of people you know they don't even know what they're getting into they don't even know how tough the fight is going to become or it's already won the fight is going to be tough it's going to be, get fierce as you as you march right deep inside the battlefield see at the beginning of the battlefield it's it will be fine looking fine but as you march why because the, the enemy will be having various strategies as you march forward yeah he's not going to open up the gates and say welcome come conquer me invade me no way it will never happen in your dream if you even if you are going to assume the devil like that that he is going to Uh, uh you know you know uh, you're going to conquer him just by the name of jesus in the blood of jesus and all that 
where are your deeds the devil will come and question you like how he questioned the jewish exorcists he had sons few sons the fellows went and said in the name of jesus come out the devil said i know paul i you know from whom you have learned this kind of miracle tactics and techniques uh, i know paul the jesus with whom the paul preaches who are you man where are your deeds you bunch of sinners you are and you are one of us and how dare you ask us to get out they taught them such a lesson they bit them black and blue hmm? and they made them run naked that's the most terrible part and funny part too <laughs> they made them run naked in the middle of the streets all girls young girls would have watched these young boys imagine the rest of their life and they would walk in the middle of the streets people would really really mock at them and imagine the position of that exorcist that the jewish priest whenever he going to say, hey naked fellows father is coming and all that they would be mocking and they deserve similarly when you treat the devil um you know as if you are it's a form of godliness second timothy 3 1 to 9 a form of godliness if you put on yourself and uh, come and talk to the devil in a language that jesus spoke hey get out and one word i will say right now i'll close my eyes and open you shouldn't be here <laughs> the devil would say you don't have to do that why because we will not go even after you open your eyes so why do why do you make efforts to close your eyes <laughs> it's going to be a funny time yeah and don't play don't play fool with the devil as how you fool uh, play fool with god god is patient loving compassionate but at a time is coming where even the lord is going to lose his patience he will not strive with the spirit of man forever neither will he hold his anger he will move away walk away from your life he will vacate his place that's a temple of god it's no more your temple of it's a temple of robbers you know thieves will come and dwell in you the demons will come and dwell in you psalm 103 9 is what i quoted god will run dry of his patience yeah but then not immediately god is so so merciful he takes a lot of time imagine if god is losing patience beloved you know how much you would have tortured god the father no words to express no words to explain at all okay like that you don't play fool with the devil he will teach you such a lesson that you will never forget in life and god allows that to happen in your life at least then will you come to god is his intention it's not, not his intention to put you to shame but at least after that would you come to god that is his intention and those who shall understand this blessed are they those who shall not understand this you know the answer <laughs> try to understand <laughs> don't give a choice to yourself to understand christ i i will understand i shall understand and i am going to understand fine in all tenses hey, i am not good at grammar okay you ask me what is this superlative uh, present part of part this uh, i just don't know grammar then how are you talking like this some people say now how do you talk like this in english just like a just like water flowing out of the tap when you open it up and all that i said that's a gift that i received from above i have nothing to do with it it's given for free and i'm giving it delivering it for free <laughs> yeah so all glory to him learn to talk like this huh? give glory to god make be god centric rather than self centric i i i replace it with god always you know all this time what i was doing i was also parallelly searching something like in ephesians chapter 5 verses 22 to 33 is what husbands and wives should talk to each other i gave some buffalo examples no people who talk in that language they must read this very carefully very very important hmm? husband and wife learn to respect each other one another love love one another bible says i gave you the reference now you cannot escape from white throne judgment warm welcome to the series obviously i was talking about demons all these days that you should not give room to them neither play with them yeah you don't have to treat them respectfully but then never take them so lightly and for granted you know they are also powerful they have been given lot of powers and they are more cunning and clever than us but then great receive within us you depend on holy spirit he knows how to handle them but but through us yeah without us the holy spirit can't do anything why because he works in partnership it's not that he is not having power or might but he is gracious to work with us 
right this is episode number 8 groups of evil spirits that deceive the mankind different types of spirits we have we had been discussing for a very very long time what we began the series somewhere in 2020 and now we are in eighth episode no time so much we have to deliver what to do one after the other episode whenever time is permitting i'm covering now we are in the eighth eighth episode stuck stuck with eighth episode um spirit of antichrist or antichrist spirit many people think antichrist is someone who is yet to come no he's already in the world i don't want to rewind the basics we are in lesson number 30 or something like that so if you want to know how he is already in the world this and that all this been expl- explained in the previous episodes please come from lesson number 1 simply do not tune into tune into something that we release right we release videos every day almost i never missed on every single day that i am in town if i am at work and in travel or something i would not be able to upload otherwise we have done that religiously yeah sincerely we have done that god has given this ministry in a previous session we spoke from the book of matthew chapter 13 matthew chapter 13 is very very special chapter why because all the parables are put together in an order especially the parable of sower uh, jesus explains it vividly and i um, and i uh, you know tried explaining with the help of the holy spirit in a previous session from the perspective of antichrist spirit how antichrist spirit can take away that gifts given to you from above the blessings given to you from above the honor given to you from above the opportunities given to you from above good wife good children good family good life everything he takes away why because i'm not going to tell that why <laughs> it's explained in the previous session go and listen to that okay so on the same lines uh, we spoke about one thing that the devil uh, sows tares tares like weeds you know it uh, the, those will consume the good minerals that uh, that are that are supposed to go to good crops like wheat for example along with tares tares will eat up and the weeds uh, weeds will grow very healthy and the and the and the, the plants the, the sorry the good crops will die why because they lack in minerals all that they were supposed to eat someone else is eating likewise in your life if you just investigate and see someone else is enjoying your blessing someone else is governing you someone else is driving you someone else is sitting in your place his name is devil who else that's why you are growing feeble feeble in the sense what poverty stricken family problems no good relationship between husband and wife child children are not listening mischievous children no not studying properly sickness in the body what workplace yeah there is a demon of the demon sitting in your boss's chair every day are waiting to harass you torture you all that you do is a failure you start business it's a failure 10th business done gone case yeah it's always in debt brother yeah i start a business i'll get, i'll be i'll be i'll become a debtor and the uh, bank will come and confiscate my whatever and that's it yeah people also go to jail okay it's a crime according to the law you can be you can be jailed so be careful why because someone else took your place simple reason someone else took your place who gave that room the fellow cannot boss in your life you know that unless you give him the room why and that's what we have explained because he had sown he had sown the tars those tars weeds yeah for example thorny plants they will take away all the good minerals and the tars are referred to many other um organizations that are today but uh, i won't i won't be for it but then people are dis- uh, you know discriminating the torses you know for example freemason freemason illuminati freemason right they are the ones there are 13 families who control the world and all that i do not know where they are if bible is not speaking about those 13 families why should i but these are the kind of mythology that is floating across the ends of the earth mormon jehovah witness some people call roman catholics are as tars no sorry i don't do that they are god's children just that you know they are blindfold sheep they are the sheep that are blind we got to be very careful and whose responsibility is to lead the blind sheep it's our responsibility why we are the shepherd we are appointed as shepherd to shepherd the mankind the world huh? why not people of other religion why not atheists why not this why not that 
we have responsibility to take care of the entire earth all the creations in the world belongs to god and they are our you know they are in our responsibility god will question us hey i gave you the responsibility to take care of your neighbors every day every day in my personal prayers i pray for all my neighbors all those eight or 10 families surrounding my house pray for my neighborhood all the tens and hundreds and thousands of families that are living i pray for them because their blood is in my hands and your hands some people even call protestants as tares some people call islamic as tares new age babylonian trinity as tares and aliens as tares aliens you know right they are having lot of signals sending to the alien and all this is demonic because the devil is fooling sending the signal again he has been he has the powers he can transform himself as the angel of light he can come and portray himself as an angel of light and sending a signal for you know as an alien pretending from mars and jupiter is it a big deal demonic people are being fooled yeah they saw some flying saucer and all uh, somewhere in rajasthan in the year of 1977 all this i know you also know right what flying saucer coming from mars they are not allowed sorry no one are allowed to enter into earth other than mankind that are being sent from above by god god will decide whom to send and whom not to send and especially this earth has been reserved for mankind demons are allowed why because that's a challenge between god and demons the lucy lucifer guy said you know you have powers therefore they listen to you similarly he said you have blessed job therefore he listens to you curse him i will not curse okay fine allow me to curse that's why he gave the powers he went and did everything he brought fire from heaven this and that and all that's the same powers he is still having that worked very well for him in terms of job but then he failed towards the talent very worked very well in the initial stages he got all worked up excited ah super puff ah, fire had come destroyed Uh, i had been given the powers powers to inflict this guy actually he had cancers cancerous sores all over the body poor job you know how much he would have suffered one year almost he was there right under the tree that's what scribes are saying uh, book of job we did a detailed series it's available in our playlist please go listen yeah but towards the end the fellow failed why because job's faith was so so strong and concrete that god couldn't wait any longer he came down and he spoke from job 38 onwards you will see you understand what i'm saying that's a that's a agreement between the devil and god god says fine i'll give you my a little of my powers do whatever you can those who shall listen to the voice of the shepherd they are my good sheep and that's enough for me if there are only 10 sheep fine the world's population is several crores yeah several millions of people are there and among them if god were to get get just 10 good sheep that follows them follows him like how jesus extremely happy with only 12 people that to one became devil and he replaced him with paul the apostle he turned the world upside down is there anything impossible with god yeah god is not greedy of numbers and always were getting worked up only 10 people are saved no 10 people good enough he knows what to do next all right so alien i told all this or misinterpretation of the antichrist spirit and you can see definitely there are a lot of traction going on and lot of people have lot of uh, unknown and um, unknown and mysterious theories like big bang theory milky galaxy uh, suddenly one planet uh, dashed against another planet and that's how earth was formed nonsense another guy darwin says that you know men were created from monkey how can monkey become a man because it has two legs and 10 fingers sorry two hands and 10 fingers and two legs and can stand like a man and walk like a man i don't know what the fellow finally concluded it was part of my curriculum but i forgot i i no i curriculum doesn't witness uh, whether uh, before death he confessed that he, what he taught was a lie or a lie or lie or truth or if he, if he would have discovered it was a lie he wouldn't have spoken right i don't know what was the conclusion but anyway i'll leave it there there are a lot of distractions the primary tool that weapon that the devil takes in his hand is deception and deception 
can no way be done uh, without blindfolding people, without fooling them, right? With a lot of assumptions, keeping you busy, distracting, defocused with all this theory. Someone will say something every day in the world. That too, tools like Facebooks and Twitters and all that is there. So, <laughs> lack of a better word. <laughs> what to say you don't have to run for tools and platforms and all that that the platforms and tools will come running to you you have a simple mobile phone a smartphone in your hand that's enough to reach the whole world the whole world is in your pocket that simplified the devil made it to the mankind and people appreciate technology yeah of course god created the technology therefore the word of god could travel ends of the earth like how we are preaching from us, you know, from from us from a, from my home inside my uh, private room. I sit and preach, preach, preach. Tens and hundreds and thousands of messages, and they are reaching across the ends of the earth. What a beautiful blessing! And technology is a blessing. I understand. And the devil makes the people to glorify using misusing the same technology to garbage at each other. What is Facebook? Full of garbage. What is Twitter? Full and full of garbage. Facebook, at least some people upload some useful videos or something like that and um, some educational videos there is little good there i'm not saying it's completely good huh? some people take selfies what 200 selfies per day and they keep uploading it in facebook that's a garbage you need to discriminate but tweet twitter and all that is full garbage it's about debating controversies fighting and this and that anyway forget it i, I just don't want to get into that and waste my time turn your bible to 1 corinthians uh, chapter 11 and uh, verse number 21 i'm gonna read from N nkjv version right for in eating each one takes his own supper ahead of others and one is hungry and another is drunk yeah for in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others. One is hungry, hungry and another is drunk. What? Do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. People in the early age Christianity, they didn't have more or less any respect for the communion because they didn't know the value of the communion. They taught communion is something like in other um, places, divine centers of uh, belonging to other religion. You will see people rushing to <clears throat> eat that holy, that sacred food given by uh, some of their priests. And they think, oh, when I eat that, I, uh, you know, it's a blessing from God. And when I eat that, my body is consecrated, my life is consecrated and all that. Yeah. Same practice was there during the initial day, uh, stages, you know, early age Christianity. Yeah, D don't don't you have houses to eat or drink in? I'm just taking one example. How the what I say the instructions of God are being easily misinterpreted, and that misleads people a lot. <clears throat> Not today, always. And that's what Paul says, you just do not know what you're getting into. It's not about quenching your thirst and hunger by eating that bread and drinking that wine. No, it's, an, it's a memory of the sacrifice that took place on the cross. Someone was killed, brutally harassed, 5,500 plus wounds on the body of you know, Jesus. And especially there were deep cuts on his back, roughly around 150 of them. Yeah. And... Uh, Three or four thorns, each of the thorns was one and a half inches long, gone into the skull deep. Yeah, it uh, luckily it did not puncture any of his brain cells or brain uh, nerves or something like that, but it punctured his eyes. One of the eyes he lost, but one eye only he was, uh, you know, marching in that parade, carrying that cross. And the size and size I do not know, but uh, the weight of the cross was 150 kgs kilograms and jesus himself uh, was around 85 kgs man of 5 11 5 feet and 11 inches tall carrying a 150 kg he was not a weightlifter professional weightlifter but he carried 
that too carrying all those wounds on his body on top of that by the time the parade started itself jesus had almost lost like 2 or 2 and 1/2 liters of blood almost gone out of his body the wounds were so deep deep cuts and 1 uh, and 1/2 kilometers he carried that heavy cross three times he falls down on his knees all his knees were punctured ruptured you know luckily no fracture why because prophecies like that not one of the bones of the righteous shall be broken yeah, but punctured fully gone barely was able to see anything or anyone barely was able to get up and that's where the simeon guy comes and he helps him and after that they take that nail which is one and a half feet nail it's not like a small nail right and they puncture it into his body right to the cross the wooden cross and his body was hanging on three nails and each time he would take breath his lungs went through that tremendous pressure of pushing his body to the front each time he pushes his body to the front you know the nail was tearing his flesh little by little little by little and the oozing gets even more yeah, fears and all that and six and a half hours he was hanging on the cross hanging on the cross going through not dead yet pain 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 and uh, he is not anesthetized he is either right and he has not uh, faint and all that no and he refused to drink water why because let me go through the pain let me go through the pain because then if my brother or sister after i take the role as intercessor would come and cry unto me i can understand their pain therefore when i pray for their pain my father in heaven will understand it even better why because i went through this my his own son went through that pain therefore he is able to answer the petition in the name of jesus that's why i am a very firm believer that anything you ask in my name john 14 14 it will be the, the you know father will do it for me i believe that this is what you remember in that communion time and you rejuvenate in your spirit you are refueling your spirit you are filled in the holy ghost anointing and power which is good enough for that month right and then again next month at the beginning of the month you people gather again and all that some churches they do it weekly also there is no pattern like monthly ones or yearly ones and all the daily also you want you to but it's all about faith how much you respect that blood and and how much you are dependent on that healing stripes and healing wounds of jesus you understand christianity nowadays preaches another jesus by another spirit delivering a plethora of gospels variety of gospels someone has someone had did really count it out i mean they they, they didn't they, they 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 had counted it out how many different varieties of being called you know gospels are being preached you will be shocked with the numbers the statistic says that 45000 varieties of gospel are being preached from this one book how can one book represent 45000 different varieties see there are a lot of interpretations with one verse holy spirit can interpret it in 20 different forms or 20, not forms 20 different meaningful interpretations can come out form is one okay glory to jesus but there are the it's like a hidden treasure the more you dig you will start you know extracting more meaningful messages which are helpful more principles you discover the value of life you will discover the values you will discover ah huh? laws and commandments given to us it's it's just not stipulated to one uh, mission or one kind of purpose it's multi purpose that's the beauty of gospel i agree to it but then Jesus is one holy spirit is one gospel is one father in heaven is one that cannot be multiplied by 45000 and be sold you know some people say you know Jesus doesn't approve poverty some people say Jesus approve only riches and prosperity some people say holy spirit is not there some people say Jesus himself is not there why because holy spirit holy spirit came after that only spirit some people say only father yahweh these two guys were like dummy pieces who Jesus and holy spirit are like dummy pieces <laughs> father in heaven is no you know ever ever were witnesses they don't believe that jesus is the son of god they believe only he is a prophet you understand someone sat and counted that 
45,000 different varieties of Christian sects are being enrolled in the world. With that I close, my time is up. Why wouldn't world be destroyed and walk in destruction? Why wouldn't world be diversified? Why wouldn't world be divided? Therefore, it is easy for the devil to conquer. Hmm? You need to understand whose side you are. And that's why keeping that you know, life as gospel-centric. Yeah, you are going to walk in the spiritual deeds. Many people misunderstand. Spiritual deeds means it's applicable to pastors and deacons and all that. No. King David was a king. And, you know, King David was a king, obviously. He was a shepherd boy, but then all that. He dealt with politics. He dealt with wars. And he dealt with people, family problems. On you know, Of all these, you know, he would not forget one thing. Inquiring God. Walking according to the statutes of God. Abiding in the laws and commandments of God. God, God, God. God-centric life. That's why the fellow never failed. Only once he slipped off. That's because he slept in the afternoon. Yeah, some people take nap in the afternoon. I'm okay. But then while the battle is happening there, this guy is taking a holiday and going to some Panama beach and lying there half naked. Can you do that? His soldiers are fighting there. And how, how, how he can sit in his palace? And that too he's been... Sleeping in the afternoon and walking on his stairs, not knowing what to do and all that, you know. Yeah, this is a good lesson. That's when he saw that Bathsheba and then he got into all that nonsense, killing her innocent husband. Uh, but, but minus that, he never got into any other problems. Why? Because he was a God-centric person. You got to follow that principle. You got to inherit that principle from King David. Right? If you have not yet inherited... You, you have inherited principles from someone else. And his name is devil. And that's what you need to check in you. I gave you one example. Because how people take this communion. Especially the blood and um, broken body of Jesus for granted. And they conduct it as a kind of a custom or a ritual. Or some people as a tradition. Or some people as a forced practice. Father and mother will beat these kids and take them. Communion if you miss no way, you are not getting food that afternoon. So these guys don't want to start. Okay, I'll come. I'll sit there in the church. <laughs> That's why I took this, you know. Likewise, you need to have all sorts of meaningful spiritual practices in life. From the Bible. Bible. Can there be 45,000 different varieties of interpretations? Jesus is like that. Jesus is like this. Jesus is one. And how Jesus was has been given in the Bible very clearly. Why would you listen to some cowboys and half-cooked vegetables? God bless you. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful time. We appreciate your grace, mercies. There isn't anyone like you who teaches so vividly and clearly to us and lead us always by your side. We want to hear more, more from you, more from you. We want to become more of you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please subscribe to our channel. Get access to all the playlists. Every day we keep releasing videos. Do not miss on anything. Share it with your friends, relatives. Sharing the word of God is your responsibility. Continue to remember me and our ministries in your personal prayers. God bless you. Take care. I will meet you soon in our next session. And we continue to meditate from this episode number 8, Antichrist Spirit. How he is misleading us. How he is able to blindfold the children of God is what we are discussing. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.